I'm live. I think you guys can hear me. I never know for sure because sometimes my system works and sometimes meh. Nah. And so you guys let me know if you can hear me. I am super excited to see you guys today. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. I really never know what day it is, truly. It always ends up being that I run into someone and they're like, happy Friday, and I'm like, oh, yes. Because what is a weekend? Anyways, today I'm going to do one of my favorite color combinations, spearmint, white and gold. But I also, I also don't know. I, I may throw in some of this brand new teal vortex as well. I'm not sure. I wanna know what you guys think I should do because you guys always have the best ideas. So we'll talk about it, we'll discuss. Anyways, cue the intro. Utah. How are things in Utah? My sister used to live in Utah for the Air Force, but she is now in Tampa. Nope. She is now in Colorado Springs, soon to be Tampa. But anyways, thank you guys for showing up today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You're here, so you may as well subscribe because, like, why not? You're already watching it. And I already have everything I'm using today linked in the description box if you are interested. I do have a sale going on right now because I just restocked Color Passion and the sale code is RESTOCK and it's for 15% off, but today is the last day. I believe it stops at midnight. I don't know how my website works, but there you go. Um, What's up, Kathy? I just sent you a package. You got your purple package today? I really hope that people like look forward to the purple package in the mail. I wasn't sure if that was like a thing when I first started using the purple mailers, but I'm glad that in my head at least it's a little bit recognizable at this point. I have puppies behind me because you know, I'm a crazy dog lady for a few weeks. So, I wasn't sure where I should go with this. Should I do an artistic style piece or more of like a countertop finish? I was going to see what you guys wanted to see, considering the colors that I said I was going to use today. I am using my iStoyo stand mixer that you can get from Amazon. It is linked in the description box below. So, artsy, 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 party. Okay, we can do artsy. Not a problem. I don't know why I used this. People make mistakes. It's fine. So, I usually have my resin completely mixed by the time I go live, but did not happen today. Apologies. No, Bo, you cannot come up here right now. How do you clean that paddle? My reusable ones from Artist Till Death, you just take a rag, an everyday common rag, and you just wipe it off um, when you're done. Sorry, the director is here and he wants in his chair. Come on. Come on. If you don't know, this is the director. He has a little bowie pants. And he has a fan in his little seat so that he can see what is happening. Um, so once you're done using your ATD stir sticks, you just take an alcohol wipe or rag and just wipe it off. And it is ready for the next use. I haven't taken the brown paper off of this. You can, it doesn't hurt if you leave it. 
it usually starts just coming off on its own. I am just lazy. So, oh, the mixer thing. Um, you can, when you're done using, I just let mine drip and then I pop the drips off. It's, the resin doesn't stick to whatever kind of plastic that is, so it's really easy to just pop everything off after it's cured, but you can also just, when you're done mixing your resin, just take the spinner and then spin it in some, probably alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I probably, you could use acetone, but I don't know if it would start to eat away at the actual plastic or at the the color that's on the plastic. I don't know. I don't know those things, but those are my recommendations. Okay. So I am going to be pouring on this gray substrate. It is a cradle board from my website, Artist Till Death. It is like a canvas, very easily hung on the wall, but it is um, it's not got a canvas front on it so that it doesn't dip and sag because of the weight of your whatever you're pouring on it, whether that's resin or acrylics. For this to be auto-focusing, it's not focusing, but it's fine. Maybe it just needs something to focus on. Sweet. Okay, so let's start mixing colors. Sippy Sippy, if you're with me. Okay. Um, I haven't, I don't have in my head how I'm going to do this piece. I'm thinking either some form of a super tilt or maybe one of the old school feather swipes. But I'm not sure. What do you guys want to see? Or do you want to see a dirty pour? Which is pretty close to a countertop finish. Nancy, that is a great way to clean the Ice Doyo stand mixer. I did spray paint this gray just in case I wanted to have some background showing. Gray really works well with the colors that we're using today. Can you get down? Are you done directing? Okay, you can't get on the table. I know. We'll play. Swipe thing. We can do the swipe thing. All right. So we're going to do the swipe thing. Then we don't need too terribly much color. Did those words make sense together? I'm not sure. Too terribly much color. So I am going to be kind of going over the difference in top cell white and base cell white a little bit in this video. So hopefully that helps some peeps. All right. I'm first going to mix up the spearmint from just resin. It is a subtle luster. It's, it's not a sparkle. It's just the slightest pearlescent. It's so elegant. It's one of my favorite colors. It's just so creamy and smooth looking. It makes me wanna just wear it, but please don't, because it's not supposed to be worn. And I have to tell myself that all the time. Just stop, you can't wear it. I know it's delicious looking, but don't. You can see that like pearl shimmer when it hits the light. 
delicious, delicious color. It is opaque, but you can put a little bit less pigment in it if you want a more translucent look. Next color I'm gonna mix up is the Color Passion Base Cell White. This is gonna be what it's going to give us our cell is. And I don't need that much of it. I'm just gonna use it where I want cells to come up, which I love having that ability. I like that I can select where I want bigger cells because if you've done resin artwork for any amount of time really, you may not want a whole bunch of cells everywhere. And I know it sounds really wild for me saying maybe you don't want cells because that seems to be what everybody's goal is. But in my opinion, it's nice to have some areas that isn't quite as busy and you can have um, a place for your eyes to rest without a whole bunch of cells. I am also going to be mixing up some titanium white. And these colors are similar um, in terms of sh like the shade of white. Um, so you won't really notice a difference when they're laid out next to each other in this piece, but you'll know where the base cell is because that will be where the big cells are. And I know it's kind of confusing that it's both are white, but it'll be fine. It'll be good. What do I have this other? What did I do this for? White and white. Oh, I guess in case I wanted to do this. Teal vortex. So we'll leave this aside and decide what we want to do with it. I'm going to put a B on this, even though it is in a completely different looking cup. I will forget, so we're gonna help me to not be silly. We're gonna do that. I also think I want some something. I need something. Maybe not, maybe I don't need something. Maybe we'll use the the new Max Gold Sparkle, and maybe we'll use some old gold. I don't have old gold listed down in the description, but I will. I'm gonna pour out some resin for the gold glitter just in case we decide to do that. Because you never know. You never know. All right, I'm using Color Passion Old Gold. It is a metal flake mica. I always overload my old gold or any um, mica, really. I just feel like micas tend to Mm, well, the particles will sink and they'll dilute kind of, it'll appear to dilute when you use a lot of heat, which I'm not going to use a lot of heat today, but I still don't want it to disappear on me. It looks a little bit more on the warm side in that camera than it actually is. This camera is way more accurate. Where are you? There you are not going to focus. Well, you can see the shade. And I'll do a true color video, of course. All right. Let's get this party started. I'm going to negative space this piece. And so I'm going to just put some clear in the background. And it's, I'm not sure how much was in here when I started to pour it out, but this round is about 19 inches. And it's not gonna be exactly a skim coat. It's gonna be thicker than that. 
but not by much. And so what I'm doing right now is just making sure there's no dry part of the board. What's up, Cindy? I shipped you a package today too. The Monday blue pigment, oh, the chameleon. Yeah, those Too Faced chameleons are kind of spectacular and I love that they're the foils. I need to do another video with those. I haven't done one in a while, but that one is called Case of the Mondays because it's blue. Um, Every time I think, okay, if you guys don't know me, I'm into true crime stuff, and every time I think about having a case of the Mondays, I think about that little girl that, like, shot up a school, the little redheaded girl, like, way back in the day, and they asked her why she did it, and she was like, um, I don't like Mondays. That's the end of my story. That's what it makes me think of. All right. So I'm going to heat this, make sure I don't have any little floaties. And it wasn't that warm here today. So my resin is a little bit on the thicker side. I have links to the resin and everything else that I use down in the description. Okay. I'm going to start with the base. Nope, I'm not because I want it to be in just specific places. I want this to be a little bit thicker. In some areas. Basically where I'm going to run this line. Out of curiosity for art coat, how much do you lessen your work time if you leave your resin in a cup? If you leave your resin in a three cup cup rather than pouring into smaller cups. Brittany, what quantity are you leaving it in? Like how, how much resin do you have in a big cup for me to calculate your, your pot life? Let me warm this up, skosh. Warming your resin is kind of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it helps you to be able to move your resin more easily, but on the other hand, it's going to impact your working time. And if you get your resin too thin, if it's too liquid, then your colors are going to mix really easily. The thinner your resin is, the harder it is to keep your resin colors independent instead of making secondary colors. This lighting is tripping me out. The fact that like every time I put my hands in, it's like I turned the light on. Hope that's not messing with you guys too much. More than 24 ounces. What is what temperature are you are you doing that in? Okay. So I always start my pour off of the piece. You can see this little puddle right here because I don't want that initial blurb, technical term, to end up on the piece because then I'll have a fat section right here and then it'll thin out towards this way. So that's why I start my pour off the piece. Just a little, little tip. So more than 20 ounces at 70 degrees and you're using art coat. I wouldn't leave it in the large bucket for, I, would, I probably wouldn't leave it for more than 20, 30 minutes because it's gonna get hot pretty quickly. when it's laid up in that, that thick of a quantity. Now I'm gonna use my titanium white and give it a little bit of this. And let's just say for just for right now, I'll put the base cell on this side and not on the far side and you guys will be able to see a difference because what I'm going to be doing will be um, 
basically the same on both sides for this feather swipe. Spearmint color close to Tiffany blue. It's close. It's like a shade more on the green side, but it's very close to Tiffany blue. If, if Tiffany, if Tiffany mint was a color, this is what it would look like. Okay. Where's my swipey paper? BRB. Talk amongst yourselves. What we got going on over here, kids? This is interesting. I don't like it when you say interesting. Uh, this color is just kind of weird, this base color. It's a little not new, but these colors look amazing. I wanted to do something depthy in the background. Uh huh. And I'm having a base cell on this side and not on this side so people can see the difference. So this is a very expensive piece of paper. It's called spiky paper. And huh. if you send me a message, huh. Bowie, take a deep breath. It's funny. The second I just said that, huh. he. Stop. Huh. One second. Bowie, huh. you are out of your huh. mind. You haven't even been huh. doing that. OK, well, will you? Will you put your arm up there just for a second? Bowie, come here. Let's go. That looks like my color. So we have medicine. Sorry, you guys. He, the second I said, it's amazing they're not doing anything. And then all of a sudden, what's happening, y'all? What's happening? Hey, so what do you guys think of this? With the artist tell death on the bottom of the ATD? And it's kind of a new font, too. I know, I can't make up my mind. And I, uh, drama queen. Well, he's drama king, but yeah, basically. <laughs> you learned it from Cujo. I just want to go like this. And see what that looks like. You think she'd be mad? She'd probably get mad. I actually have two drama games What's up, in the house right now. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So what I was saying was um, this paper is called Swiping Paper. You can find it on my website. But you can also, if you order something, just tell me that you want to try it. And I'll send you a pack for free because I love it. It is just the labels from my shipping. So anyways, I don't want to do a piece of it. If you've never seen me do a swipe, what I'm doing is taking this paper. You can also use like a parchment paper oh, or I, can see, you know, I think it's a bit low. Um, so what I'm going to do is lay my paper flat in the colors that I want to be on the top. So for example, I want to have all the colors presented on the top in some capacity, so I'm going to lay my paper across all of the colors that I've used, except for the base, because I don't want that one to be on top. I want the base to be under the other ones. That's how it works best. So I have my paper laid into my colors, and I let just a little bit soak up, and I'm gonna take my time and drag my swipe. Because if you hurry, it does this, it skips. Be, will you come get him and give him some honey? Just give him some honey. Bowie, come here. I want a little bit more gold in this one here. And actually, I should have heated it a little bit more again since I walked away for a second. Oh. 
When your resin's on the thicker side, you have to use a little bit more heat. Yeah, see, you don't even copy right. Okay. So I'm just going to swipe this one through again now that it's on the warmer side. But I'm still going to take my time because I don't want it to skip. Now, when I hit it with some heat, you'll see the cells come up. But don't use too much heat because the thinner your resin is, the less your cells will stick together. And these cells will grow as we... As we Ads in Alive. They just started doing that. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, he is reverse sneezing. He has allergies, and we're going to get more of his medication tomorrow. You too. What's up, Miss Duchess? Okay, so <laughs> that's the the general how to of a swipe, and you can do broadside swiping paper if you want to pick up more color. So you can see that wherever I lay the swiping paper is where it's pulling from, and that is what is on top. So you can see like where it's coming out from. And I always give it a little bit of motion, and I always end it from a corner so it doesn't have a hard stop, even though that does not look like a good stop. I'll fix it in a minute. And then this little cut right here, we'll go through and we'll fix when we get to the other side. All right, let's do some more swipies. I'm not putting any pressure at all. Man, I keep doing horrible on my tapering off, but I'll fix that in a second. And I guess then I can show you how to fix your tapered areas. This area is already thick again. Well, maybe I'll just tilt this down a little bit on this side. I think I'm going to do that. All the pups are calming down, which makes my heart happy. Definitely hurts me to hear them coughing like that. I just want to taper it a little bit better, even though it doesn't matter because I'm going to tilt it. Okay, so let's give it a tilt and take a sippy because reasons. I'm going to heat it where I want it to move, and I want it to fall in the direction that it's already going. So I want it all to fall down this way. So that's how I have it tilted, and that's where I'm hitting the heat. So that just those areas will stretch down. I haven't tilted a feather in a while, so, see how it actually looks. All right. I just want to tilt just this little tendril off. Okay, and then bring it back. And if we don't like it, we'll fix it. Bye, Brittany. JJ, did Jeff answer you about the t-shirts from the other day? That area was moving a little slow, so we had to pick it up a bit. All right. 
so I know some people are probably asking themselves what I just did, but it'll make sense in a minute. I promise. I promise to swear. Okay, so I'm going to start this side without any of the base cell white. And then you can see kind of the difference in how the colors act. It's okay, Bowie. And we already just heated it, so I don't have to worry about that. And I always pull my swipes towards me. It's just easier to control. It's still a little bit cold. It's just easier to control than um, if you pulled it, pulled it away from you. That doesn't make sense. If you pushed it away from you, a lot of people's instinct is to bring it back towards you and then you'll drip on your piece. So to avoid that, um, if you're gonna pull away from you, then just drop your swiping paper at the far end. But it's just easier if you pull towards you. It was so much nicer when it's warmer. Let's do a big swipe. Let's do right here. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't pull exactly like right here and right here and right here and right here. I try to stagger it so it doesn't look like um, someone just parted their hair. Does that make sense? Um, if this feather doesn't turn out, then I'm going to just wreck it and make a design with what we got. But we'll see. You never know how it's going to turn out until it turns or doesn't turn out. hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to fix these. And I'm just taking the corner of my swiping paper and moving the areas that I don't like. And that can include just a little bit of edge or even the whole end of your pole, which is what I didn't like about that one. So, let me hit it with some heat so you can see the difference in cells. So whereas the base cells popped up right away, these top cell ones are kind of taking their time, which is fine. Um, as the piece self levels, they'll kind of come up a little bit more, but yeah, they're going to be not as big as this side, so we need to select where we want to add some base cells, and you can just add it kind of wherever you want, so if I wanted to add some bigger cells, let's say right here, I'm going to put the color that is not the base cell um, and I'm going to place it in such a way that when I swipe it's going to be the base cell is going to be under the spearmint which is the top cell so the white's a base cell and the spearmint is a top cell and I'm going to just swipe those colors over each other and I'm going to try to follow the same pattern and I did not I missed it but that's fine so right here right in the middle is going to be where our bigger cells are going to pop up almost instantly they'll start to to come up a bit
and those will start to grow just like this side did. It is cell magic. The base cell paste from Color Passion are cell magic. You don't have to mess with alcohol, which you of course can, if that's what you wanna do. But for me, I like to use base cell paste. Now, this piece isn't looking like something that I wanna keep. So I'm going to have to decide if I wanna wreck it completely or kind of just redesign what I have here. What do you guys think? I need to know. Thank you, Krish. I also have a floating gold I wanna add, but I wanna know from you guys if you think I should finish out this piece or make it into a different design. And while you're deciding, tink. you can also use your sticks to pull out, oh, where are we at, we're right here. If you wanna pull out some wispies like that, or if you want to wreck your, not wreck it, but you know, create different kind of looks and patterns. I know a lot of people for a little while were into the like, the curls. I swear, I don't know my left or my right when I'm messing with the camera. There we go. Well, that curl doesn't make sense because it's going not in the right direction. Love the colors, different, go for it, wreck it, redesign. I agree with all you guys. So let's come up with something different. A lot of times when you use resin, it may not go how you want it to go. And so you just have to kind of play it by ear. Let's see, what am I seeing? What? So I like, I like everything that's happening. Since we already tilted this side, let's tilt it a bit. What's up, at Mac? So I have a base cell white and a top cell white. But the answer to your question is white, but there's two whites. Let's just melt this side opposite of how I did last time. So it stretches kind of length, lengthways, lengthways, lengthwise. You know what I mean, and words are hard. And then tilt it back. I really like doing a super tilt to stretch the design. I don't know what it is about it, but I super love it. And so now I'm just letting it tilt back towards center a bit. So now I have this nice soft whoosh on this side. And I really like how that looks. Um, not digging this kind of V thing here, but we have a little bit more work to do anyways, so it's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's fine. See what we're gonna do with the other side, even though I really, really like how soft these cells look. And these colors together, how that gold kind of just ghosts on through right here and it hits the light. But I digress. Let's do something. So Maybe we'll do 
Maybe we'll do a ribbon. Maybe we'll pour a ribbon. But also maybe we'll do that last. Let's super tilt the other side actually. So when I'm doing resin art just for myself, not for a live, when I'm just creating for the sake of creating, often I'll just put the colors out and see what they want to do. And then I'll kind of just help them along in whatever it is that it's kind of leaning towards already. And I know a lot of people think that that's just giving in to the monster, but I am fine with it. Let's tilt it back in a skosh. Because I want to leave some of this gray visible because I don't have any dark colors in the design as a whole. And I, generally speaking, have to have some kind of dark, something for the eye to kind of balance off of, bounce off of. It's a little bit heavy on this side, so I'm gonna tilt it off as well. I think you guys are going to like these colors together, but I am going to do a true color video because I don't think it's doing anybody any justice as it stands. All right. Sparkles. Ooh. Let me go get the gold, the max gold sparkle. I saved some resin just for that occasion. Occasion. I give him attention, he would stop. Y'all remember? You remember, remember? Okay. So let's do a dirty pour. I'm gonna use, all right, I'm gonna give myself some room. Me self, what am I, a pirate? Okay, bunch of white. A swizzle of the spearmint, some of the base cell whites. I'm putting the base cell white on top of the spearmint because when I pour it out, it'll end up that the base cell white is under the spearmint. In theory, I have no idea, but I'm in theory. And then we'll top it off with the top cell white. But I feel like, oh, I know that gold ebony is a spectacular, spectacular color. I just heated up the resin that's in front of the area that I wanted to swipe through.
because I wasn't feeling how it was looking. So we'll see if that makes it better. If not, we'll do something else. So I have my dirty pour cup. I'm gonna give it a little swirl for interest. Not mixing it, just giving it a little bit of a swirl. I not like this idea that I've had, but not every pour is a winner, but something can be learned from every pour, in my opinion. Also, I arguably didn't use enough, I didn't mix enough resin for this amount of work. Arguably. Not so sure. Either way. Sometimes when you work with resin, you just have to do a bunch until it does what you want it to do. And I'm okay with that. Now I'm rotating it around in different directions to get everything flowing in the way I want it to go. I would tell you precisely my thought process behind it, but I'm not exactly sure. I think I want to add some gold lines to it at this point. I think when you work with resin, if you don't have an exact expectation, you'll have more success with it because then you're you're not trying to force it to do um, something that it's not um, kind of lined up to do. Because sometimes how you lay your resin out to start with will have everything to do with how well it does or doesn't work for you for whatever design you may be shooting for. Resin is fickle, if, if I may. I had this resin sitting in a bucket for a minute before um, I started, so it's a little bit, a little bit soft. I mean, it's starting to get a little bit thick. And I actually really like how these, you guys can't really see them from right now, but I'll show you up close in a second. These little wispies. I don't know if I'm overdoing it. I usually am, but we'll find out. for a while, do you remember when Jeff didn't like how his piece was going, he would always super tilt and it almost always turned out spectacular. I'm hoping that I have that kind of luck with this one. So I'm liking it a bit better. I do think I may be losing some of my gray background. It's probably inevitable. gonna go with an artsy style look and then we said we weren't feeling it and it ended up looking like a countertop anyways or it could be geoded but we're not gonna geode it today I am gonna mix up some of this super beautiful glitter oh my goodness I think when I tried earlier not when I tried earlier, when I was, like earlier in the feed when I was swiping, there was, 
almost double the amount of people that are in here right now. So I thank you guys for staying in. How gorgeous is this? Let me see. Oh, I'm talking about this glitter. Ah. Whoa. Achoo. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let's not have a Mayron moment. I thought you were going to do like a swipe and negative space on that. I did. I wasn't feeling it. That looks nice. That's just an awkward gray, but it looks like it looks good. I sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I just I just go with it and this is where we went with it. Mm. I'm trying really hard not to get this in the air because glitter. Not that we don't already have sparkles What's everywhere the in here. Just just glitter in. in before. I didn't do that this time. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit on the orangey side on this camera, but IRL, it is more actual gold. Focus. It's not gonna focus. All right, let's run some glittery veins. So when you have thicker or bigger particles, like what is um, a glitter size instead of like a mica, um, the micron size, um, the particles will sink in your resin. And so this will actually look like I've parted the waters, so to speak. You know, this doesn't look that bad. Okay. I'm trying to go along with kind of the design we already have going on. And if you want to put lines out with something like this, like a glitter or a larger particle mica, do it after you've done most of your other manipulating because when you heat the piece and start tilting it around, your glitter is going to kind of start to disperse throughout the rest of your piece and it'll get lost or just end up everywhere instead of in these nice rigid lines that's something that i i prefer things like this to be where i put them but if you know to each their own with art you want to put a thinner line right here Now there's some areas where I know there's some base, so I'm going to heat those areas specifically to get the cells to come up. And I do need to pop the bubbles in the Max Gold that we just put out. Now the Max Gold doesn't have any pigment to it. The color that it is is because the color of the sparkle particles. And I had thought that I was going to do some um, floating gold, but I don't know if that gold would too contrasting because we have two other golds in the piece now. But what do you guys think? Might as well. Might as well. So floating gold is is something. I know I brought it over here. Unless Jeff stole my gold. Nope. Um. 
we will use. What's up, John Parker? So the name of the glitter is Max Sparkle Gold. It's turning out stunning. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. And I'm not appropriating Southern culture by having that accent because my mom's from the South. I lived in the South. I went to Alabama and I'm allowed to have this accent. Just don't want to offend anyone. Oh, there it is. Easy to do nowadays. So, I've gotten this sticky. Don't tell Jeff. So, I'm going to take this gold. See a skull face? I'm going to see it when we get back up. Uh, it comes in these little droppies. And you can put it directly on the piece. I always put it in the back of a Dixie cup so that I can get some of the propellant soaked out of it. Uh, the propellant is what keeps the floating or the aerosol gold liquid once that evaporates, which happens rather quickly. Um, then your pigment, in this case gold, will be set wherever it is. So you can see here that kind of shadow of gold right here on the top. That is the propellant soaking into the cup. And usually it doesn't take that long. I'm not putting the gold on the inside of the cup because it's um, usually Dixie cups are wax lined and so it's just not going to do any good. And you can just put it from here to there, but I'm going to put just a sh like just a swizzle of resin in it. Just a swizzle. Just to get it more liquidy because I've had it setting up for a while. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's just maybe run it next to the sparkle. We can see kind of a difference in the two. I was teaching a one-on-one -on -one class the other day and they accidentally like dripped their Gold. And I was like, make it a choice. Give it some design accents like this. Floating gold is great because it catches the light in a different way than um, any other gold does. And so I like to just give hints of it. You may not even notice it until you walk around and see it from a different angle. Some more dots so it's a little bit more balanced. Yay for southern accent, y'all. I love a good southern accent. Well, mine is fictitious. My mom's is very real. Definitely digging the piece more now than, let's say, 20 minutes ago. So I also did another thing for another class that I taught. Let's see. 
you have dots and you want to have something different than dots, you can just run your stick through it and just make a line of hearts. If you guys heard that, but my big girl dog is telling me that she wants to go. Oh, you I don't even know why I bother spelling that anymore. They know what that means. They know. I'm not, I'm not kidding anybody. I've got to put some hearts somewhere else so it makes sense. We'll put them right over here. Maybe we'll make these lines hard too. Yeah, the gold that floats definitely helps the depth because it it just brightens it. But this gold right here, through this vein and this one right here, that is the old gold. How elegant that is, just hitting the light in the cell areas. See it catching in certain ways. Ooh, right there is nice. And then, of course, the rivers of glitter. Ooh, that should be an actual place. I'd go. They'll stay hearts as long as um, you don't heat it too much and you've soaked out enough propellant. Could be an art piece or a finish all on its own. All right, y'all. I can dig it. I was worried for a minute, but turned out okay. Let's take a true color video. So we can post it and you guys can see what I can see. Let's turn flash. So, the colors that we used today were spearmint from Just Resin. It is a top cell paste. We used Color Passions Base Cell White. For these cells, we used Just Resin's Titanium for the top cells. This is Floating Gold MTN. This gold here is the new gold from Color Passion. It is Max Sparkle Gold. And then this subtle Peekaboo Gold is Old Gold from Color Passion. I think that's all the colors that we used. There's nothing wrong with a little river of gold. this beautiful curly curly spearmint anyways let me know what you guys think down in the comments it turned out better than I thought it would I was scared for a minute I thought you guys would have come here just to see what it looks like when you have a little bit of a feel but it turns out okay so thanks for showing us how to rethink a piece and make it not work but turn out Oh, gorgeous. Well, thank you. Sometimes we just have to see what's happening and pivot. There's nothing wrong with a pivot. I think it's actually something that artists in general should know is how to take what is happening and turn it into a choice. I think my last video, my last ceramic video was 
make a mistake a choice and just roll with it. In my head, it's better than starting over, but sometimes you have to cut your losses, but it takes a lot for me to be like, nope, 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 can't do it, abort, try again. But anyways, I gotta take my whole litter of puppies out and etc. But you can get all of the colors that I use today on my website, artistilldeath.com. Use code RESTOCK for 15% off. I already have everything that I use today listed in the description box under this video. Many techniques from a true talent. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, Brittany. You're gonna make me blush. Um, there's a food convention this Sunday and I think we're gonna go to it. Anyways, um, you guys have a great weekend. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Send Clara some prayers for her health or good vibes or juju or Hail Marys, whatever it is you're into. Hail Mary. You never know. Anyways, um, and always remember that we do the test so you don't have to. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I said bye. He said bye.